Full of 3D Studios and I'm coming at you with the promised tutorial on how to make the Imperial Star Destroyer in Blender. This is the first part of the three parts and I wanted to say a huge sorry for my delay and the sound quality might, might be a bit bad because I broke my microphone and I'm using my inbuilt uh, computer's microphone and uh, I don't want to push it off before I get a new microphone the tutorial any longer so I just made it now and hope you'll enjoy it guys so let's get right into it so one thing I have to say about Star Wars modeling is that you've got to know Star Wars and if you don't know what I mean by that is that you have to know the models and everything in Star Wars otherwise you can't really do Star Wars modeling in Blender cause if you're just making this for someone then you don't know Star Wars at all and you don't like it uh, you, ha you actually have to know it because uh, if there isn't something right that uh, huge Star Wars fans will really recognize and you don't recognize it at all because you don't know actually how it looks in the movies that so you have to know how it looks basically and second thing uh, you've got to get the Legos I know this sound, sounds a bit babyish but uh, it's actually fun making stop motions with them but you need them for textures because you can't find uh, really many textures for uh, Star Wars Star Wars and uh, so for example you're making a I don't know Anakin and uh, you need his uh, torso so you just you just take a camera of the Lego torso and then put it as a texture and there isn't anything like that as a texture on the internet so that's something I have to say and or there's like a planet course on uh, from Lego and you have you, you take a, like a picture of it uh, with a 16 megapixel camera and then you can put it as a texture for the planet well okay anyways let's get uh, right into the tutorial so we're gonna click on background image add image add image oh sorry open and I have it saved somewhere so give me a second so just find your blueprint and you got to have the mm, how do you call it? Side view, front view, top view, and back view. But for the Imperial Star Destroyer, you really only need the front and back view. And I said that because I couldn't find really any good um, blueprints. And the ones I found, the top is proportion like uh, good to the right one, but uh, they're out of completely out of proportion uh, towards the front and back view. So I'm just going to be using the front and back. So. And for that one, let's say the back one, uh, add another image, open, uh, well, pictures, and Superstar Destroyer. And oh, and by the way, I got these uh, from the theblueprint.com or theblueprint.com. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to put a link in the description. So, yeah. You just basically have to click on the link and then type in. Don't type in anything. Go to sections and then select sci-fi and then Star Wars, cause you can't really find it when you search for it. But it's a really good website. And the blueprints, they're they're only previews. They're not the actual blueprints. Otherwise, you'll have to pay for them. So just download that image, and as you can see, it will be in very bad quality. But that doesn't matter actually at all. And uh, but. Uh, yeah, let's start modeling. Oh, and you can see that uh, in, in the front view, the right view, the top view, you have all of them. And you, let's say the front view only wants it in the front, so you're going to change from all view to front. And now you can see that it is in the front, but the back one is still everywhere. So the back one, you're going to change it to back. Easy peasy. One, number pad one. Uh, when you click it, uh, you see fr front view, control number pad one, you see the back view. So, uh, let's get started. Oh, and let me do something beforehand. Sorry guys, I should have done this before the tutorial. But I'm going to skip this. And freaking. And yeah, this is so you can see what I'm doing right over here, right? So, front view, back view, oh, uh, just like that, back view, and let's go to front view again. And you have to be in a orthographic mode in order to uh, do this. You can also change the views here, but it's faster with the shortcuts. So, uh, no, don't delete it. 
we're going to be using this and click on Z to go through the wireframe. Okay, let's get modeling. So one thing I have to say before we start, we're actually starting already, but I'm still a beginner using Blender, so this tutorial might take quite some time. But we're going to be using a mirror modifier. Drag that over there. Go to modifiers, add modifier, mirror. And now click on the X and see. shoot. I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, select clipping. Go to tab. That's the problem. So, in order to overcome that problem, you are going to have to go Control C, Z, select everything, move it like that. And you got rid out of it. So, not really actually. There we go. Okay, that's how you add the mirror modifier. There might be some problems if you're a beginner, as I am. So, and now you can see that if you click the clipping, uh, you can, whenever you move that corner, the other one will also move. So, uh, anyways, uh, do not click apply, otherwise, then you will not be able to change anything anymore. Look, I'll show you guys. So, if you click apply, you click apply and you go to edit mode and whatever you do with this still happens to that one or whatever you do with this doesn't happen to that one so do not hit apply guys okay and let's continue so drag this down something about that Now it doesn't have to be perfect according uh, like to the towards the blueprint towards the blueprint. Uh, yep, that's how the Imperial started to release. So no, just kidding. Uh, anyways, there we go. And in case you're interested in more Star Wars modeling, don't worry. I'll be making like uh, ATTEs. ATRTs and stuff like that but the point is that you've got to model all of this by bits by bit so I'm going to put this in fast motion later on and one more thing because before I'm putting this in fast motion that uh, you might when you import the how do you call it when you import the blueprint you might experience that it's kind of out of place and if you try to pull it up and go to the right and then you go to front view and you think it's fixed. No, you'll have it the wrong way in the front view. So, control Z. So what you have to do is mm, hit N to show this thingy, this properties bar, whatever this is. And uh, under the background images of the back view, go to mm, here where it says X, Y, and size. Keep the size same because these blueprints are uh, completely similar to each other and you don't have to, say, to change anything in size but uh, the, to change the x thingy just uh, move it along the x-axis and hold shift while moving your mouse otherwise if you don't hold shift this is what it will do so we have to hold shift And make it perfect basically. Okay, that's about it. And so let's get on to the model. Oh, let's get on to the model again. You can hide that. And, mm -hmm. and basically, this Imperial Star Destroyer is uh, only composed out of cubes. So, but if you've seen, mm, what do you call it? If you've seen Star Trek, and you want to make the Enterprise, I'm going to make a tutorial like in two months or something of the Enterprise and uh, this is it's kind of weird that in the Imperial Star Destroyer you only basically you only use squares and in the um, Enterprise you basically only use cylinders so anyways let's uh, let's now add images what we're going to do now is basically just import a few images to help us make the mo model easier So.
there we go there's the first image you can we are going to be zooming in and out and you can find these images on the internet when you put imperial star destroyer in google and uh, damn this is messy ignore my personal images please and uh, this is the backpack so this is actually all we need in order to make this perfect. So now let's get on to the modeling. Again. I would pretty much say that this is the conclusion of the first part of the video. And don't worry, the second part is going to be just in one week. And, uh, yeah, pretty much. That's it. It's pretty much looking like an Imperial Star Destroyer. If you show this to someone, they, they would say Imperial Star Destroyer. But, mm, definitely not good for an animation. So, I will be showing you how to finish this in the second part later on. And thank you for watching.